It's time for another iPhone tips and tricks video and in today's video I'm gonna share with you guys 10 awesome iPhone tricks that you may not know exist but before we get started don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet so starting off the first trick is related to focus modes as you guys can see I'm currently using the recording focus mode that I've created but something that kind of bothered me it keeps uh, getting my attention is that I can still see all of these notification badges but there is a solution and it's really easy to remove all of the notification badges the only thing that you have to do is go to your control center press on the focus mode press on the three dots on the right side press on settings right here make sure you press on home screen and enable hide notification badges now if you go back to your home page you'll see that you don't have any notification badges visible now the other tricks that i'm going to be sharing with you guys are on safari so make sure you go to safari and something that i really like is that you can customize the way that you open tabs so let's say that i want to press and open this in a new tab as you can see it's going to open in a new tab but it's also going to take me to this new tab right so something that i like is that you have the ability to change settings on your iphone and change the settings so your iphone is going to open this tab in the background so make sure you go to settings safari go down and right here open links in new tab make sure you press on in background so now if we go back to safari you will see that if we press to open a new tab it will open in the background and it will continue on the tab that you're currently browsing so make sure you press and hold press on open in background and that's it now another useful trick that you can do in safari is that you can copy the links to all of the open tabs and then paste it on the notes app for example so make sure to press here to go to all of the tabs that are open press right here then press on edit and i'm going to be pressing right here on the three dots on the right side because this is the tab group that i'm using right now so make sure you press on the three dots if you are using all of the other tabs that are open make sure you press right here but i am currently in this tab group so press on the three dots press on copy links now i'm going to go to the notes application press on paste and there you have it all the links are right here and it's really nice because as you paste them they are automatically um, organized in bullet points still in safari there is another way for you to copy and paste the links for the tabs so as you know you can drag and drop your tabs like this and reposition them but if you want to copy the links let's say for this this and this tab you can simply press drag them and select the others that you want to copy the link go to the notes app and drop them so as you can see it is a different way for you to copy and paste links this way um, if you use this way it's going to show the photo so it's another nice trick to use in safari last safari trick that i'm going to share with you guys today is that there's an easy way to open a new tab the only thing that you have to do is swipe left all the way if you are currently in the last um, tab that you have open you can simply do this and it's going to open a new tab so let's close this and do it again now there is a new feature that you may not be aware of that is that you now have the option to listen to background sounds on your iphone so the only thing that you need to do is make sure you go to settings accessibility audio and visual background sounds and make sure to enable it so as you can see we now have rain sounds but if you press right here you can choose 
um, from the other options. I will keep it as rain sounds, but there is an easier way for you to enable and disable the background sound, which is by clicking three times right here. Did you see? It turned on. So I'm going to disable it right now to show you how you can do this. So let's go back to settings, accessibility, then you're going to go to accessibility shortcut and make sure you choose background sounds. Now, all the time that you triple click the site button, the background sound is going to be enabled. If you do it again, it is disabled. Now talking about the spotlight search, you now have the option to search for text or object in photos. All of this in the spotlight. So let's say I want to look for images that have the text iOS. I can simply type right here, iOS, and it already shows me the text found in photos. If I press here, it will automatically tell me all the time, all the times that iOS appeared in the image. It's super convenient. And as I've mentioned, you can also search for an object or an animal, for example. So let's say I want to search for cat photos. I can simply type cat, go down. And as you can see, it shows me photos with cats. So if I search an app, it's going to show me even more images. These are my cats, the other one and then the younger one. And as you can see here, it also shows me the text found in photos. So again, if I press right here, it shows me where the word cat is positioned in the image. I'll go back and go to the second one. We'll take cat right here another one. And still talking about the spotlight search, there is another trick that I'm sure you're going to like because we can now search and download applications straight from spotlight search. So you don't have to go and open the app store and then type in the name for the application. You can simply do this right here on the spotlight. So let's say that I want to download Binance. The only thing that I have to do is press right here on get and that's it. It's going to be automatically downloaded on my iPhone. And something else that we can do straight from Spotlight Search is move applications. Let's say that you currently have an app in the app library, but you want to move it to your home screen. Instead of going to the app library, looking for the app, you can search for the app right here. So let's say I want to move Apple Music. I can simply press and drag it straight to my home screen or the second page. And that's it. And last but not least, if you want to mute notifications for a specific app for one hour or for today, for example, you can now do this. So I'm going to go to all of my notifications right here. And let's say that I want to mute the notifications for this application. Simply swipe left, press on options, and there you have it. You can mute it for one hour or mute it for today. So you don't have to turn the notifications off altogether. You have these extra um, um, settings as well. So they're very useful. So I'm going to mute it for one hour. And if by any chance you changed your mind, you can simply swipe left again, press on options and unmute it. And these are all the tricks for today, you guys. So make sure you give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the video right here in the comments. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the new content coming up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.